Hello everybody, Corey here. Sorry for the delay getting this video out. Um, I would have done it earlier today, but my ulti videos took longer than expected. Um, so I figured I would do this after I worked on the land some. So, alright. So, yep, for those that don't know me, I am Corey. Um... And all I'm doing is trying to gather data and present that data to everybody so then you can use this information along with everything you already know um, to help make your decision on if these are right for you or not. I'm just trying to provide you with those facts. And I'm not a financial advisor uh, or an invest qualified and licensed investment advisor. Um, yield max ETFs are very, very, very risky. And these are income ETFs and not growth in ETFs. Um, do know that they go into the risk on their website and they define all of these risks here. Um, I'm not reading all this today, even though I've been reading it in the past videos. So in here, we're just going to go over the daily stuff from Friday to get this stuff closed out. So you can see here all the trades that were made on Friday. So the trades and holdings video for uh, the single stock ETFs here will be significantly longer because it is a Friday video, which was another reason why I went ahead and put it off um, until this evening. Uh, but as you can see here, there's lots of trades. I'm not going to bore you with all of those. I mean, you can look at NVIDIA though. They brought in, what, about $5 million. Tesla about five million, Misty a couple of million, Coney about seven million. Uh, looks like AMD brought in a million, but you have all of these listed here. And then here's all the net assets and shares for all the ETFs. If you'd like to see those, and then here is all of the uh, the current stock prices with the NAV prices and the differences. If you would like to see those. All right, so we're going to go in to the stock prices. So, of course, these are, as of the yesterday, column O is the close of day on Thursday. And then, of course, column P is the current or the close on Friday. And then we have the differences here. So we can see, um, you know, it was a negative day. We only have two stocks that were actually... Um, um, two that were green, uh, and then, well, well, we had one that didn't have a change, so I guess technically it's green too, uh, but you can see here at the bottom that the S&P was down at the end of the day, 0.88%, so it looks like it came up a little bit, we're under 5,000 there now, um, but the NASDAQ was down over 2%, which is mostly probably because of NVIDIA, um, yeah, I thought it closed at 10% down, but it looks like it was only 9% down. Um, but if we look at these, AIYY was only $0.02 cents down. AMD, negative 92. AMZ, negative 58. Apley, negative 11. Kony, negative 67. Dizzo was only negative $0.01. Cent. Phoebe, negative 66. GUI, negative 20. JPMO was actually up 2% and $0.30. Cents. Uh, which is pretty good because it has been down due to earnings. And then we have Mernie, negative 14, MSFO, negative 22, Misty, negative 38, Nefli. Uh, of course, it had earnings, so it dropped, uh, but it was down $1.19. NVIDIA was down $2.35. Um, oh, I bet NVIDIA was down 10%. But anyway, OARC... Um, was down 14 cents. PayPay Pay stayed the same. Squee was down 42. Tesla down 27. And then Zomo was up 24 cents. And then looking down at YMAG, it's down 54 cents. It's down to 18.78. And then YMAX, uh, it's down to 19.38. It went down 50, uh, 47 cents. And then Ulti went down 50 cents. So Ulti looks like it's basically right there between YMAG and YMAX. Um, yeah, and if we look at percentage-wise, obviously, NVIDIA is going to be the worst with Nephili being next and then AMD being the next as it's following NVIDIA. 
But let's move over. Let's look at the underline here. So you can see the IV for each of these. And then we can look at the um, IV, uh, the estimate of the distribution just based solely on today's IV in column V. And then uh, we have obviously the yesterday or Thursday stock price and then Friday stock price. But what we're going to do, if you want to see those, you can pause the video or screenshot it. Um, but looking here, let me screen it, uh, zoom in just a little bit here. AI, let's see what we got. Yeah, NVIDIA was down 10% and Netflix was down 9 and AMD was down 5 um, Let's look at these together here. So we can tell, if we go down here, 14 of the Yield Max ETFs did better than their underlying. The under the five underlying that did better than the ETFs was Disney, JP Morgan, Moderna, PayPal, and Tesla. Um, obviously rounded numbers. But if we look here, 2%. So the biggest ones uh, in the change was 2% as Misty did better than MicroStrategy by 2% and Nephly did better than Netflix by 2%. So that's pretty big. Then we had some uh, there that were 1% better than their underlying, which was AIYY, Apple, or Apple, Phoebe, NVIDIA, and OARC. And then it looks like... Uh, JP Morgan was better than JPMO by 1% there. But let's move on. Obviously, looking at our recovery here is not looking um, so hot. Um, nobody now at this point, uh, I think we said this the day before, has recovered. Uh, Moderna, you know, it's 78% uh, recovered because its last dividend was $0.78, cents, and we're currently only a $0.17 cent difference there. Um, but And then, of course, GUI's up just a little bit. Um, their last dividend was $0.31, cents, and they're only down 27 at this point, so they're up 13% 30, of their dividend. But look, AMD, let's see. Oh no, we have a couple here now that have hit 300, negative 300% of the last dividend. So AMD is at negative 312%. So you can see the last dividend was a dollar eleven, And not only did they drop the dollar eleven, they're down an additional $3.47. So let's go down the other 300% squee, which I didn't even realize it was down that much. But I guess their distribution wasn't that big either. But it shows squee is down negative 345% to its last dividend. So its last dividend was $0.64, cents, and it's down an additional $2.20. Um, so yeah, that's pretty And then you can look at YMAG and YMAX down there at the bottom. Um, you know, YMAG last dividend was tw $0.62, cents, and it's down an additional $0.87, cents, so it's down negative 100, 139% of its last div, and YMAX with the last div of $0.63 cents is down an additional $0.72 cents for negative 114% there. Of course, those are brand new, too, because there you can see those are as a 416 so that's just uh, a few days this past week, while the other ones up above are since April 3rd. Uh, but I'll move on from there. We'll look here. Uh, we really shouldn't have had, you wouldn't have thought we would have had anybody over their strike prices already uh, since we hadn't even started the week yet. But JPMO is starting off at already above um, its max strike prices. So let's go back over here. Oh, I gotta open this back up. So JP 
J.P. Morgan closed at 185.80 on Friday. And uh, there they had three different short call strike prices, and the max one is 185. So it's already above all three of the short calls for next week, uh, which is causing the stock to be down 42 cents, as you can see on the right-hand side. Um, as far as just looking at any of these other bigger ones, Coney's down 33%, 33 cents based on its three short calls. And then Misty is down 49 cents a share based on its two short calls for the week. Um, but those are the bigger ones, I guess. And it looks like Marnie and Nephli are doing great because they're at that negative one cent a share, which is what you're always, uh, it's going to pay out is one cent. So we'll move on over here to look at the synthetic, uh, synthetic positions. So again, for this, because the stock market has been red for five or six days now, um, all of these are way underneath their synthetic positions, except for two, as you can see, Gooey and Misty. Um, and most of these synthetic positions expire in three weeks, so May 17th, except for AIYY. They just closed the one out with a massive loss um, like $5 a share loss, and then, um, they only, then they moved it out just like three weeks or something, so it actually expires in two weeks. So you can see again that strike price for the first one in column AY, then the difference we are, this is the amount we're under or above the strike price, and of course for our synthetics, remember we want to be above our strike price, and since all these are below, that's why they're all red. Um, and then, um, and then of course, this is the percentage on the next column that we are down. And then in the next uh, column, this is if they had a second one. So I forgot to mention, in case some of you haven't seen this yet, in AX, that tells us how many we have. So we see two of these have two synthetic positions. Uh, so we see Phoebe has uh, an extra one there at the 525 strike price, and it's under that by 8%. And then we have Tesla down here with another one, and it's underneath that one by 16%. And then in column BE, this is how it's affecting the share price. So if you look at AMDY there, um, the share price is down $5.89 because of the synthetic and then Coney, it's down $5.13 due to the synthetic. And then NVIDIA's down $4.55. And honestly, most of these are quite a bit. I just mentioned it was looking at the biggest ones. But AMZ's down $1.22. Dizzo's down $1.24. Uh, Phoebe's down $1.76. JPMO down $1.45. Mernie's down $2.07. MSFO down a dollar thirty one, Nephilim down two twenty eight, OARX down two o five, Squee is down two seventy nine, Tesla is down two thirty three. So we tend to skip over the synthetics, um, you know, because it's like oh they don't expire for a while. But if the market continues to keep going negative or these stocks can't recover in the next three weeks then we would have a problem when it comes to these synthetics closing. And this is basically what, what happened to AIYY this past month. Um, you know, I guess it just kept thinking maybe it would come back, come back, and it never did. And it just kept sinking and sinking and sinking, and it just got worse. And this has happened to Tesla as well. Um, and those synthetic positions are really killing these stock positions, or these stocks, these ETFs. So just to, you know, bring that up there. These are, most of these things there at the end are all brand new. Um, so I hope y'all enjoy those. Um, I did bring up, uh, this is 
obviously where we're at from Friday you can see all the stocks going down and then we have some choppy ones down here at the bottom that didn't necessarily do the straight down curve like the rest of these did um, you can see a lot of these they just went down all day long Coney kept trying to come up and then it's just going back down uh, but then when you get to these at the bottom, you see Dizzo did some craziness. But I guess these aren't as traded as much. So that's why they look so choppy there. Uh, Marnie was up and looks like when it did that middle day dunk, it just continued to go down. But you see Zomo and JPMO, um, it just went up most of the day there. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy uh, the video. Again, sorry for having the delayed video. Um, I hope you are having a great weekend, and I will talk to y'all later, and I'm going to do the trades and holdings as well um, in case you want to see all of those, but we'll go, there's a lot of them, so again, it'll be a long video. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.